Hello Spider fans everywhere and college football fans across America and around the world. It's Satchmo from the Spider Gang. Glad to be back for another episode of Spider's Preseason Opponents Countdown. Game 2 will feature the Boston College Eagles. Richmond will travel to Chestnut Hill for this game on September the 7th. It will be the first time we've played Boston College in almost 50 years. It was 1971 when the Eagles came to City Stadium and shellacked the Spiders 24-0. Ironically, that Richmond team went on to win the Southern Conference Championship and go to the Tangerine Bowl in Orlando. It'll be Boston College's second game of the year also. Let's hope the Virginia Tech Hokies can soften them up a little bit for the Spiders in Boston College's opener on August 31st. As most Spider fans realize, this game versus an FBS opponent is a revenue game. Richmond will be paid handsomely for going to Alumni Stadium to face the Eagles. We've had a little bit of success in these games over the years. We've got some good wins against Duke and of course the unforgettable win against Virginia several seasons ago. But any time an FCS team faces an FBS team, it's a pretty remarkable thing when an upset is gained. And in this season, when the Spiders are trying to build their chemistry and build a foundation for winning again, it would be an even more remarkable upset than usual. Boston College comes in off of 7-5 campaign in 2018. They were 7-2 with three games left in the season ranked in the top 25 for the first time in a decade, but they lost their last three regular season games to finish 7-5. Coach Adazio brings back Heisman Trophy candidate running back A.J. Dillon and quarterback Anthony Brown to lead a very potent Boston College uh, offense, but they'll have to do it behind a, a rebuilt offensive line that lost four starters to graduation. On the defensive side, there's a new defensive coordinator who replaced former Richmond head coach Jim Reed, who will be coaching the defensive ends this year. And he'll have his hands full too with lots of questions as only five players returned on the defensive side of the ball that have started a single collegiate game. So you see Spider fans, Boston College has a lot of questions and things to prove, just like the Spiders did. It could be a good competitive game, but let's just hope the Spiders can go up there, play our best, continue to build that foundation that we'll need later in the season, and come back uh, injury free. A victory over Boston College would be a big, big surprise for most of us and a remarkable accomplishment for this young, inexperienced Spider roster. That's all for Boston College. Next up, Elon Phoenix in Game 3, back at the Brick House. Go Spiders! So long for now. Stay cool.